So in the last session we have seen the basics of trigonometry. What are the different functions in trigonometry? Now in this session we are going to see the trigonometric functions of particular angles. So first we'll see up to 90 degree. The standard angles are 0, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. That is useful for school students. And then we'll see other quadrantal angles. That is 180. 270 and 360 degrees. So that is useful for college doing students. So we will first see the uh, sine function, cos function up to 90 degree. So what will be the values? So how you can remember these values very easily? Now you should know just if you know the sine function values, you can write all other values very easily. And uh, you can remember all these values. Now sin 0. So first what you write here is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then divide all these values by 4, 4, 4. Now take the square roots. So now 0 divided by 4 is 0, the square root of 0 will be 0. So sin 0 is 0. Now square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2. So it will become 1 upon 2. And square root. Now if you cancel your 1 and 2, then or square root of 1 is 1 upon square root 2. So it will be 1 by root 2. So 1 divided by root 2, uh, root 16. So 3 is not a perfect square root value, so it will be root 3 upon 4 will become 2. So root 3 by 2, then 4 4 will get here. So 1 upon 1, so root 1 upon 1, that is 1. So nine, sine 90 is 1. So this is how you can remember the value of sine function. That is 0, sine 0 is 0, sine 30 is half, sine 45 is 1 by root 2, sine 60 is root 3 by 2, and sine 90 is 1. Now, what will be the cos values? So just write the, in these values in reverse order. So cos 0 will be 1, cos 30 will be root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2, cos 45 will be same 1 by root 2, cos 60 will be called uh, sine uh, equivalent to sine 30 that is half and cos 90 will be 0. So just write the value of sine functions in reverse order you will get the value of cos 1 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 half and 0 now tan theta as we have already studied tan theta that function is nothing but sine theta divided by cos theta just divide these two values 0 divided by 1 so it will be 0 1 divided uh, half divided by root 3 by 2 2 2 will get cancelled so we will get 1 by root 3 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2, both will get cancelled, you will get 1, that is tan 45. Then uh, tan 60, then divide these two values, 2 2 will get cancelled, you will get root 3 upon 1, that is nothing but root 3. Then 1 divided by 0, so any number divided by 0 is not defined or is infinity, so it will be not defined. So we got the value of tan theta. Now cot theta. For cot theta, just write the reverse order of tan theta. So it will be not defined. Then it will be root 3. This will be 1. 1 by root 3 and 0. So we have just written in the reverse order of tan theta. So that will be cot theta. Now cosec. Cosec theta as we know cosec is equals to 1 upon sin theta. So the reciprocal of sin function value will be the cosec theta. So what is the reciprocal of 0? So it will be 1 upon 0 and that is not defined. So cosec theta that is not defined cosec 0. Then the reciprocal of 1 by 2 will be 2 by 1 that is 2. Then reciprocal of 1 by root 2 will be root 2 by 1 that is root 2. Then reciprocal of root 3 by 2 will be 2 by root 3 and the reciprocal of 1 will be 1. So just write the reciprocal value of sin theta. Now sec theta. So sec theta is the reciprocal of cos theta or just write the reverse order of cosec theta. That will be 1 
2 by root 3, root 2, 2 and not defined. So this is how you can complete this table within few minutes if you just know the values of sin theta and for sin theta just you write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 then divide whole value by 4 and take the square root so 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1 now if you know sin theta just write in reverse order you will get cos theta then sin theta upon cos theta is nothing but 10 theta take the ratios then cot theta is the right is reverse order of tan theta not defined root 3, 1, 1 by root 3 and 0 then cosec is the reciprocal of sin theta write the reciprocal values of this uh, values you will get cosec theta then sec theta either take the reciprocal of cos theta values or write the values of cosec theta in reverse order 1, 2 by root 3, root 2, 2 and not defined so this is how you can write the uh, trigonometric uh, functions of particular angles and you should know all these values so you don't uh, just don't try to draw this table in your examination because it takes certain time so it's better just know the if you know the value of sin theta you can calculate in your mind in just few seconds all these values so this is how you can write this table now uh, quadrantal angles that is 1 180 270 and 360 we have already seen the 90 degree that's quadrantal angle so these higher values that will be useful in college section so we'll write here now sin 180 is 0 sin 270 is minus 1 sin 270 is minus 1 and sin 360 is 0 now cos 180 is minus 1 cos 270 is 0 cos 270 is 0 cos 360 is 1 so it's so we got cos theta value that is minus 1 cos 180 is minus 1 cos 270 is 0 cos 360 is 1 now you can find out the value of tan theta tan theta is nothing but cos uh, sin theta upon cos theta so this will become 0 this will be 0 uh, minus 1 upon 0 that is not defined and this will also become 0 so this is how you can remember all these values quadrantal angles 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0 and 1 then take the ratio of this 0, not defined, 0 similarly you can write all these values that we have taken cot theta will be the reciprocal of these values then uh, cosec theta will be the reciprocal of sin theta and the uh, sec theta will be the reciprocal of cos theta you can complete that table very easily so this is how you can uh, make the table of this particular angles and how you are getting that sin theta sin 0 is 0, sin 30 is half, sin 45 is 1 by root 2, sin 60 is root 3 by 2 how you can get all these values we can see in the next session uh, by making a unique circle so we will see that how we are getting all these values and even higher uh, angle values so hope it will be helpful for you thank you